All right, this is a video over trusses. And what I want to focus in on instead of this point and this point is the two beams, or well, is beam A and beam B. So what forces do they feel due to this 50 kilonewtons being applied at a 75 degree angle of beam B? So the first thing we need to do is find out what, or I guess I need to explain what, how these trusses work. And at each one of these points, they act like hinges. Hinges. So beam A can go up and down, up and down from this hinge. The only reason it doesn't go up and down at this over here is due to beam B. So beam B must apply some force to keep A from going down. And beam A must apply some force to keep beam B from going that way. So beam B cannot prevent itself from going this way or that way. So it could go either that way or that way. And again, A can go up or down. So that's what these trusses are. They cannot prevent themselves from going, well, from rotating. So at points, they can rotate. They don't provide any rotational resistance or any forces to resist any rotation. So we need to find what the Y components of this 50 new kilonewtons are. So we want to find the Y components. And we'll do that by finding what this total angle, what this total angle is right here. So we know the inside angles of a equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. So that means we have we have a 60 degree angle, which is right here, plus the 75 degree angle. And then what we're going to do, we're going to shoot straight down. And if we minus 90 degrees, that will give us this angle. So we can find out what that angle is. So this is equal to a negative 15 degrees. So then we have 65 minus 17, so that's 45 degrees, a 45 degree angle. So just clean that up a little bit. So now we know this side is 45. And if this side's 45, then this side's 45. So when we have a right angle, so then this side, this side right here is equal to this side. So that means the Fy component of the force is equal to the Fx component of the force. So it doesn't matter which system we use, we can use the the weighted to. So let's find the Y component of this force. So Fy is equal to the force times the sine of the angle. So then we get, we get, we have an angle of 45, so we get the sine of 45, and we multiply that by 50, so we get 35.3 kilonewtons. So Fy is equal to 35.3 kilo newtons and fx is also equal to 35 kilonewtons so we know what fy and fx are so I'll just clean that up now so beam a is not providing any forces upwards only beam b is so that means the y component of beam b so beam b is providing some component the y component of beam b must equal the y component of beam or of the force y so so beam b has some force some force upwards and it has some force in the y direction and it's x component force so by bx so by is equal to the to the fy so that means that is equal to 35.3 kilonewtons. So then we can find the force on beam B. So then, if we remember Sokotoa, Toa, whoops, Toa, and we'll go with, we have the, we have this angle, so we'll go with the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we know that this total angle is 60, and if we cut it in half, we get 30 degrees. So then we have the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. 
and the adjacent is equal to 35.3 kilonewtons over the hypotenuse. So we do a little bit of rearrangement, and so we get 35.3 kilonewtons, or sorry, we get, yeah, we get 35.3 kilonewtons divided by the cosine of 30 degrees, 30 degrees, must equal the hypotenuse. So, so first we'll do the cosine of 30 degrees, or see clear. So we have the 35, 35.3 divided by the cosine of 30 degrees, and that is equal to 40.8 kilonewtons. equal to 40.8 kilonewtons. So we know what H, what B is. So B is equal to 40.8 kilonewtons. And we know what BY is. Or, yeah, we know what BY is. So what is BX? BX. Well, we know, we can just do the sign. So the bx is equal to the force b times the sine of the angle, and the angle is 30 degrees. 30 degrees, so, so we get 40 point, 40 point 8 times the cosine of, or the sine of 30 degrees. That is equal to 40, 20.4, 20.4, 20.4 kilonewtons. So the only thing that's preventing the x component, the x component of this force, this 50 kilonewtons, is beam A. But also, beam B is also pushing out, so we have, I'm going to clean this up. We have the x component of this force, fx, and bx. And b is only providing, is only pushing it this way. So a is pulling back at, at um, so, so a is pulling it back. So a, x, is equal to f, fx plus bx. And that is equal to 20.4 kilonewtons plus 35.3 kilonewtons. So that turns out to be 55.7 kilonewtons. So we now know that the total force of A and B are. B is 40 kilonewtons. And since there is no Y component of A, there's no Y component of A, then A is equal to 55.7 kilonewtons. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.